a little bit about Dead Space 3. It's a story of Isaac Clarke and uh, kind of a story about redemption. He uh, is on a quest to eradicate the necromorph infestation from the universe for all time. He has to find uh, Ellie, who was one of the characters from Dead Space 2, and if you play in co-op, he also teams up with a new character whose name is John Carver. He's a hardened soldier who's got a, a, a mission to kind of redeem himself as well. When you play in co-op, they team up together, and uh, hopefully, if you play your cards right, you can take down the uh, Necromorphs for all time. You're the rocket scientist, you tell me! I work on ships, not giant drills. Just look for an override. We built it for cooperative play from the ground up. So from the very first day, as soon as we were rolling off of Dead Space 2, this, we knew this was something we wanted to do. Uh, we haven't taken away any of the resources from single player because we know, as the true fans and like the people who care about Dead Space the most, that we had to keep that solitary, isolated, thrilling experience intact. So when you play in single player, it's important to know that there is no AI follower who's following you around. It's the classic Dead Space gameplay that you've come to love. It's only when you choose to team up in co-op that John Carver joins you in your adventure. And the whole time that we were building the game, we knew that we just wanted to make one campaign. This isn't a game where you have a single player mode and a cooperative mode. They're the same thing. But when you play in co-op, you'll experience additional story details that you don't see in single player. These are the story parts that John Carver is a part of. Isaac and John have to learn to rely on each other in order to survive. So our co-op is online only, but the cool thing about it is that it's drop in, drop out. So right from the pause menu, you can invite a friend to play, and as soon as you hit a, next, a, a new checkpoint, uh, he'll be right by your side. And he can drop out at any time. So if you wanted to have like an epic Dead Space marathon session, you could play with three different friends throughout the night, kick them out, play in sol uh, the single player solitary experience for a while, and then when the going gets too rough, if you want to have some backup and have somebody watch your back, hey, you can play in co-op again. Oh, Death Space takes place both in space, but also in this new environment, uh, the ice planet of Tal Volantis. The cool thing about Tal Volantis is that it lets us expand the environment for Death Space. We have these huge open environments and these epic vistas. Um, it's important to know that we still have that sense of thrilling atmosphere. So sometimes like a rolling blizzard will come in and you'll have total whiteout conditions. You won't be able to see 10 feet in front of you and you'll hear the enemies out in the distance and you won't know where they're coming from. But then the wind will come out, blow all that blizzard away and you'll see these huge expanses like mountains out in the distance and these huge fortresses and everything you see out there, you can eventually get to. So it's a, it's a really unique spin on uh, what we've been doing at Dead Space because we still have uh, those classic spaceship corridors where it's dark and dimly lit, but then we also have these huge open environments um, with bright sun and snow, and it's a really exciting thing that we're doing with the game. Ellie! Ellie! We're doing actually something really exciting with our weapon system in Dead Space 3, but we're not talking about it here at E3. Uh, if you watch the trailers and if you see the demo, uh, you might see how Isaac and Carver are using weapons or the things that they're carrying. You know, there's some, there's some clues there that might lead you to, uh, to see what we're doing with that, but uh, stay tuned, we got some real big news about weapons in the future. Dead Space 3 is coming out uh, February 2013 on the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the PC.